Hello everyone, how are you today? I've got some scissors and some different colour bits of paper and I'm starting with my white bit of paper and I'm going to cut it out in a shape which has got lots of bumps. You can see my bit of paper isn't a new bit of paper, it's actually got writing on the back but it's white on one side and that's all we need is to have a bit of paper that's white on one side. Okay, can you see what I've cut out? I've cut out a blobby shape and this is my cloud. And then I've got some more paper and these bits of paper are all different colours. It doesn't matter how big the bits are, but I've put all my different colours in one pile and I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a curvy shape like that. I don't need those bits at the moment. And then I'm going to cut a curvy bit like this. So I've got lots of little bent strips of paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each colour and I'm going to stick it together to the next one like this. So I'm going to get a bit of sticky tape and then I'm going to stick those two bits together. And then I'm going to carry on doing that. And I've got all these other bits of sticky bits of paper and I'm going to stick them all together with the sticky tape in a line. Can you guess what I'm making? Any ideas? Guessing sometimes is tricky, isn't it? Particularly when I'm being a little bit slow and particularly when I lose the end of the sticky tape halfway through. So where's my sticky tape gone? Here it is. Does this ever happen to you? Do you have trouble with sticky tape in the middle of a project? Let's stick the sticky bit to the part. Okay, I've got my bit of tape and I'm going to put it on all of here. Can you see what I've made? I've made a rainbow. And I'm going to take my rainbow and I'm going to stick it on the bottom of my cloud. So I need another bit of sticky tape. Can you see my cloud and my rainbow? And do you know why I've made a cloud and a rainbow? I've made a cloud because this weekend we remember all saints and all souls. And we remember that God loves everybody forever. And the cloud is like God's love. God's love can float around and God's love gets in anywhere. And sometimes we can see it and sometimes we can't see it. And the rainbow is to show us, that remind us that God's love is beautiful and God loves us. God loves us so much that God sent the rainbow to remind us that God will never do anything to hurt us. And God's cloud is connected to all of us. So all of us are connected to God's cloud of love. And all the people that love God, when they die, they go to be with God in God's love. And they're all in this cloud of love that surrounds all of us all the time. And we call the people that go to live with God, God's saints. So even though we can't see some people anymore because they're not here with us, they're still with God and they're still connected with us. And that's why we're making a cloud and a rainbow today, because it's All Saints this weekend and All Souls. And we remember how much God loves everybody forever. So do you think you could make a rainbow and a cloud to remember God loves everyone? I think you could. So I'll see you later. You stay safe and keep well. Bye.